क्वेश्चन नंबर टू अ पोस्ट रीनल ट्रांसप्लांट रेसिपिएंट पर्सन विद सिम्टम्स सच एस टीवो एंड ऑर्गन इन्वॉल्वमेंट आई नॉट श्योर व्हाट एक्जेक्टली वाज द सिम्टम्स इट्स कुड बी अ जीआई और अ न्यूमोनाइटिस अ टिश्यू बायोप्सी वाज परफॉर्म एंड व्हाट इज कंसीडर्ड एज अ कंफर्मेटरी टेस्ट फॉर द डायग्नोसिस ऑफ टिश्यू इनवेसिव सीएमबी डिजीज ओवरऑल दिस इज द दिस इज व्हाट द एग्जामिनर्स वांटेड दैट्स व्हाट आई बिलीव सो यू हैव अ टू पीसीआर ब्लड अ सीएमवी एंटीजन आईएससी वर्सेस अ सीएमवी एंटीजन ऑन टिश्यू बायोप्सी और सीएमवी सेरोलॉजी and uh, uh, you may also have seen this image also i'm not very sure if the image was shown like this image is basically it shows cytomegalic cells this is basically a that of us uh, cm pneumonitis so you can see large cells cytomegalic cells with an all eye nucleus which is very typical of cm pneumonitis so whatever is the situation if you have a tissue invasive disease the diagnosis is not based upon the blood pcr the blood can have cmv viremia even without a tissue invasive disease If you have to prove that the patient has a tissue invasive disease like a pneumonitis or a colitis, you have to take the tissue, demonstrate the cytomegalic cells as well as the all eye inclusions. Uh, but that sometimes may not be not not very sensitive. And the test of choice here will be uh, immunohistochemistry for CMV antigens on the tissue biopsy. So that will be the correct answer. It's not a DNA PCR. The DNA PCR you do uh, while you are monitoring for CMV reactivation. but not for the diagnosis of a tissue invasive disease